What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to take a quick little look at some movies that I just picked up from the Video Game Movie Dome as well as what I received for Christmas. There's not a lot here in the pile, but there's some pretty good titles and there actually are some video games in the pile as well. Now, first off on Christmas Eve, I made a quick trip up to the Video Game Movie Dome. Uh, Pam had some, you know, things on hold for me that I was supposed to pick up, you know, a little bit earlier on in the month. But unfortunately, you know, being sick, I wasn't able to get up there. But on Christmas Eve, I made a quick trip up there to do just that. So, first off, I picked up The Last of Us Part 2. Now I can give my cousin his copy back. And I now have my own copy. 15 bucks, brand new factory sealed. I didn't think that was a bad deal at all. So, a great deal for a factory sealed, brand new PS4 game. Last of Us Part 2, which I thought was a pretty good game. Now, I also picked up, I had to add to, two more titles I picked up to add to the Christmas collection. First off, Prep and Landing and Prep and Landing Naughty and Nice, a double feature Blu-ray set. So I went ahead and picked that one up. I've seen both of these and they're, they're definitely, they're very family friendly and they're a lot of fun. So I had to pick this one up as well as how to get another version of A Christmas Carol. This one being Alistair Sim as Scrooge, a classic version of A Christmas Carol. So really, really happy to add this one in. This was the special 60th anniversary edition of the film. And I wanna see if it actually says 19, 1951 for the release on this film. So again, another version of A Christmas Carol to add to the collection. And finally, two of the big titles, why I went up, one of the two big reasons why I went up there for these two titles in particular, uh, Shang-Chi, you know, I had to pick up another more M MCU film. Got to keep going with those MCU films. So I'll we'll pick this one up on 4K. I really enjoyed this film quite a bit. Um, you know, some mixed, you know, reactions with certain people, you know, from some people. But for me overall, I thought this was a pretty good, you know, it wasn't going to blow your mind MCU film, but I thought it was pretty darn good. And it was enjoyable. It was definitely entertaining checking out this one. And finally, from the movie Dome, I had to pick up Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I didn't think this one was as good as the first film. I still think the first film was a better overall film. But this one was still pretty good. It was still pretty good. Definitely worth picking up in 4K. So those were my pickups from the movie Dome. And finally, for Christmas, I didn't get too many titles, but... You know what? I think they're pretty solid titles. Actually, two video games as well. Two games and one film. Now, first off, the game that I am currently playing. I had to start this one right away because I heard a lot of good things about this game. And so far, it's pretty good. Um, the controls, because this is the PS4 version, I've heard that the PS5 version plays a little bit better. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS5 yet, but I've heard that the PS5 controls play a little bit better and the low the low times on this game are yeah they're a little bit left to be desired but it's guardians of the galaxy now this is based more on the comic book adaptation you know the versions of these characters not you know these not characters do not look like they do in the film at all and these are based on the comic book but so far i think the story is pretty good i do enjoy the story but like i said i think you know the PS4 controls, they're a little bit off. They feel a little bit, you know, all over the place. But again, eventually I get a PS5. This will be PS5 upgradable. So right now I'm playing this. I'm currently about almost about halfway through. And it's it's enjoyable, you know, for what it is. I, I, I think it's a pretty solid game. But definitely some issues with the controls. And overall, some things can be a little repetitive. But overall, I think it's a, it's a pretty good game. Now, here's another one that I was looking forward to getting. I still need to play the second one in this series, but this is the third game, and that's the Dark Pictures Anthology, but almost like a basically, you know, choose-your-own-adventure type thing. And this is the most recent release, and that's House of Ashes. So this one I'm looking forward to checking out. I st um, Little Hope was the second release. Still have that one yet to play. I haven't played that one, that one yet, but the price was right, and I was like, you know what? You know, my parents were actually looking for a game to pick up from me. So I said, you know what? How about this one? 
I go let's go ahead with House of Ashes. So thanks, mom and dad. Always nice to add a deem to the collection. And finally, my sister and brother-in-law, they hooked me up with Malignant. Really, really enjoyed Malignant. I know this one was kind of like a hit and miss for a lot of people. You know, they were kind of like thinking, you know, where is James Wan going with this film? Because this one is definitely a different, there's a mix of different styles thrown into this film. But I absolutely love this film. The only thing that was really disappointing was the fact that there's no 4K release for this because this film looks beautiful. Would have loved to have seen a 4K release. But I absolutely love this film. And the twist, the twist ending is just fan freaking fantastic absolutely loved it like i said it wasn't everybody's cup of tea but for me i'll take a big old cup of tea with this one because i really loved malignant quite a bit so just a few things i picked up from the you know from the movie dome on christmas eve and some things i received you know for christmas from my sister and brother-in-law and from my mom and dad and uh, i actually and i got a gift card from my you know from my uh, wife and my kids for, uh, for Amazon, and the first thing I did, I went right on Amazon, I pre-ordered myself Dune 4K, as well as Ghostbusters Afterlife on 4K. So, a little bit of mix, you know, with some movies and some games for Christmas. Not bad at all. So, like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I will catch you in another episode. Take care.